Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about something related to my wedding. For those of you who don't know, I got married on Columbus Day weekend of 2018, this past fall, and I didn't do a lot of wedding content on my channel. Um, I didn't feel like there was a big desire for it, but there was one thing that got a lot of buzz on my Instagram when I first posted about it, and I meant to film this a, like 100 years ago, I just never got around to it. If there is any sort of post-wedding, now that I've thought about my wedding a lot since October, if there's anything you want to know about my wedding or any like kind of Q&A, let me know in the comments below, I'm happy to do that. I just never thought there was like a big pull personally. But there's a bit of a backstory for the gift that I bought myself that I feel like is one of the greatest gifts I purchased and that was a shadow box that I put my bridal bouquet in and it has my wedding date on it. I'll talk a little bit about the backstory that led to this. I didn't want to do flowers for my wedding. Um, part of the reason for that is one, I had a full mass at my wedding and the rules of my church were that if we brought flowers in to decorate the church, we had to leave them there. And for me, besides the religious factor, the church that we got married at, I thought was beautiful and stunning all on its own. And I never wanted to put flowers in there anyways. And I felt like it would sort of be a silly use of my budget to decorate an already pretty church and then have to leave those flowers there. And then when it came to our venue, actually having centerpieces was a part of our cost of our reception. Like it was a part of our package. So I didn't need to provide flowers for that either. So the only flowers I would have needed to purchase, so to speak, were bouquets for myself and my bridesmaids. And I didn't want to do it. Frankly, I just thought that it was silly. Flowers are so expensive, especially wedding flowers. And I was just sort of like, man, I think we're just going to skip over that part and not have any flowers. Um, my mother was very traditional, was distressed to hear that I wasn't going to use flowers. So we compromised. I actually had one of my bridesmaids who's very crafty, very lovely. She herself is going to get married next June and I'm so excited to be a part of her wedding, but she agreed to make wooden flower bouquets for all the bridesmaids and they came out super pretty, super gorgeous. I'm so grateful to her for doing that because I felt like if I was going to spend the money on bouquets, I would have preferred to have them be something that they could keep forever and not just have to like dry flowers out. And then for my mother and grandmothers, we did boutonnieres and you know, little wristlet corsages. And then for me, I agreed to get a regular flower bouquet. And to add to the story, when our wedding was over, I was gonna just throw my bouquet away. I had a tossing bouquet at my reception, so the one that I carried down the aisle, I didn't actually toss. Um, I didn't know that was a thing, P.S. I learned, I learned that about weddings. Anyways, so I was just gonna throw my bouquet away because I didn't feel any like sentimental desire to want to dry the flowers because in my experience, anytime I've dried flowers, which is not very often, I've never had anything to do with them. Like I've not had a purpose after I've dried them. They've just kind of like sat there and I'm like, cool, I've got this dry, dead bouquet of flowers and that's it, like fun. So I wasn't gonna do it. And then um, one of Ben's groomsmen was like, no, you need to dry these, you need to keep these. He like took a metal hanger and like wrapped my bouquet in it so that it would hang upside down because apparently he said that things to dry best needed to like hang down and have gravity pull them. I don't know. So they sat and they sat and they sat on our dining room table and I didn't know what to do with it. I was just kind of like, yeah, eventually I'll do something. And then I came across on Pinterest this idea of a shadow box. And I just thought like, genius. That is to me the only logical, if I'm going to call it logical, the only like nostalgic logical choice is to do something like this. So I researched it on Etsy because I discovered a lot of Etsy when I was doing my wedding stuff. And I came across a store called Never Bored with Chalk. 
and they had a like little shadow box like this. It didn't have anything in it. It was only because of Pinterest that I came across this idea. And so I paid, it was like $35 plus shipping and handling. So I think it was somewhere in like the $42, $43 mark for this. And my sister who dries a lot of flowers, didn't know that about her. She gave me some sort of spray. I don't know the exact name of it, but some sort of spray from craft stores that you can get that you actually spray over things like flowers to preserve them. So what I did was I purchased this. And I have to say they were really awesome because the first one that I got actually came broken and they reshipped me a new one, obviously at no cost to me. And what I did was I cut the tops of the flowers off of my bouquet after I had sprayed them and the spray had dried. And then I put all of them in here. All of my flowers actually did fit inside the case. And if you look very closely, like if you can see in the back, I actually laid my ribbon that had fastened my bouquet together in there as well because I figured if I was going to preserve it I would just preserve all of it and it sits on my bookshelf and I really do love it. I'm again not super nostalgic about our wedding. I am so happy that I'm just married to Ben. That's all I ever wanted at the end of the day. And we had a, an awesome day and it was just lovely. And I didn't need these flowers to remind me of that, but it's really pretty and really lovely. And I have to admit, I'm going to three or four weddings this year. And I plan on buying one of these for each of the brides because quite honestly, I would have loved someone to have bought this for me because I would have never had an idea of what to do with my bouquet. And I would definitely recommend if you're someone who wants to preserve any flowers or if you want to preserve something special like this, I think this is awesome. I will happily link to the store on Etsy that I purchased this from. They have all different varieties. You can do vertical, horizontal, different fonts. There are some shadow boxes that you can put more than the date on. You can really customize it to what you want. So I would definitely recommend it. And I think that if you're either someone who's going to a wedding or you're having a wedding, this is definitely something to put on your purchase request list or to just buy for yourself because I think it's beautiful and I'm so happy that I have it. So like I said, it's long overdue that I show this to you guys. It was on my Instagram back in like the winter, I think it was. So really happy with this. And again, if you guys want any other wedding content, let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you in my next video real soon. Bye.